Soil drenching is the main treatment used in protecting hemlocks from the adelgids, but a newer treatment involves releasing predatory beetles, which are the hemlock woolly adelgids' natural predators. These beetles may be small, but they have voracious appetites and are proving to be an effective biological control against the adelgid. So all we really do is, um, you know, we're just weaving these branches in into the branches of the trees that are here just to kind of protect them from a, a few windstorms here. They'll, they'll kind of lock right in there and that'll just give the beetles time to migrate to the, to the other tree and then they'll, as all beetles do fly, these beetles as they are right now, <laughs> flying away right to the canopy. Over 365,000 beetles have been released so far, and they figure prominently into the future of the hemlocks. Our long-term objective with HWA control in the park is to preserve as many acres of native eastern hemlock forest as we can, continue to release the biocontrols, and eventually through time, maybe 10 or 15 years from now, we can stop all insecticidal treatments and the introduced and native biocontrols will exert pressure on the adelgid population. So we'll still have adelgid in the park and they'll still be on the hemlock trees, but they'll be at a level where they don't kill the trees and the trees can still live and reproduce into the future. Controlling the destruction caused by the hemlock woolly adelgid isn't easy and there's no quick fix. But anyone who's walked through a Smokies hemlock forest knows that saving these trees is definitely worth the effort.